Okay, one micro acrylo wing to build. Um, it's four panels. The four panels are all built independently and um, I have cut out all the spars, the trailing edges, the leading edges, all my ribs. If you're just going to do it like that, just make sure nobody comes in and opens your cabin while you're doing it. So I'm going to put this together. So it's a bottom sheet first and then the spar. Make sure you've just got that little notch for the spar to sit on like so. Trailing edge, leading edge. And we're going to fit the ribs as we go along. Okay, so as before, I'm going to use my... Um, this super fatty glue which I really like just using the uh, nozzle so I'm just gluing the um, bottom sheet to the trailing edge is the first step okay so the general idea is I've not glued I've put rib one in place I've put this um, rib in here not glued at the moment I'm just going to adjust all the ribs now don't worry if you're slightly if the bolster is slightly aligned out with the plan um, there is some shrinkage or expansion with the plans and it does mention it in the instructions as long as everything is square and you've got everything uh, at right angles with these ribs so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop all the other ribs into place okay so I have added all the ribs now um, I deviated from the instructions slightly because the instructions said to add this first and then to put the spar on afterwards and I'm not being funny I just thought that actually I'd put the spar that leading edge on first and then this would be I could get a lot nicer job of getting that in I couldn't see how to do that accurately so I'm just going to let this glue then I'm just going to add that top sheet afterwards I love being a rebel Okay, so main wing's done, uh, the tips are just the same. All I've done is I've actually just dropped all of the ones I can onto here, line it all up. I'm going to drop in the tip one as well. When I'm happy with the positions, I'm going to glue them all in place at the leading edge. And obviously there is no um, sheeting to go on there. And then the next thing is we've got the little stack of bolster tips to put on there. Okay, so I'm just doing finishing off the tips. Um, basically, you get two of these. My advice is glue them together like so. If you're using, I'm I'm using uh, super fatic glue. If you're using super glue, I would just glue the middle bit because it's, we're going to have to sand these to shape. And the super glue, if you go around the edge, is going to make it different. Uh, difficult to sand but with the super fatic it's not so bad so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to glue these clamp these together first until they've gone off and then I shall then just stick them uh, glued to the side like so so the blocks are glued and they're just going to go onto there like this and that are the wings done I'm just going to leave that overnight just to try and um, Literally, it's just going to be a process of a bit of a sand up and then join all four panels together. These micro kits just go together so lovely. Okay, so I have taken the uh, four panels of the wings off the plan. My advice now is, is I would try and clean these up and sand these up as much as possible because they're going to be easier to handle than if you've got them in their sort of state as they should be um, the other thing is you've, it would be, it's going to be far far easier to do the uh, wing tips here and on the plan you can see that the idea is is that the you're going to basically sand yourself a winglet at the end So I've managed to get a nice winglet shape on there, just to show you how I did it. Um, I took the bulk out from the front with a knife, like so. There we go. And then the rest of the bulk, um, I actually just, let me just show you. 
that on there. And then systematically went down. I don't know if you can see that alright, but let me just move that out of the way. Supporting it as much as possible. I took this down and then slowly just kept going down. You notice I'm rolling towards the wing. The reason being is I want to take this bulk off because this is going to need to be the same height as the rib. So I shall just crack on with that. But just take your time. And then when you get down to the very small bits, I then put a little bit of sandpaper, 180 grit, on there like so. And then when I got to the real nitty gritty, I was just doing it like so. When I've done all the curve, then I then took uh, this curve, then sanded that curve away to get that nice scallop look. <coughs> oh. okay, and again. <coughs> okay, so I've sanded up the four panels, I've done the winglets, which I'm quite pleased with, and I am now going to join the outer panels to the inner panels. Um, I've gone metric with that. Um, that's it's I think it's 47 and a half mil I'm just sticking mine ironically these blocks are almost perfect at 47 mil so I'm gonna glue these to the inner panels at 47 mil when I'm happy I'm then gonna join the two center panels together but don't join them flat because we've got to add a little bit of dihedral into the center panel as well and then uh, but when I've done these outers I'll get back to you on the inner panel dihedral that's the wing of the Micra Aquila finish. Now, um, I'm going to do a separate video on um, the actual covering. And what I plan to do is do it in four sections. But we'll get to do that when we get to doing the covering of the whole structure. But like with all these uh, Micra gliders, wings just go together so quickly. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So we're now going to crack on with the fuselage.